All right, boys, we're here today. We got Sam, and we got your boy Anthony right here, and then you got me filming the damn thing. But uh, let's head over here. Anthony picked up some stuff today. He didn't really pick it up. Got shipped to his house yesterday. But uh, check this out. We got a little splitty action going on with some uh, side skirties. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to hopefully get these bad boys installed, and it's going to be pretty aggressive. Yeah. Obviously, Anthony has a Focus ST. It's uh, going to add quite a bit of arrow, <laughs> quite the it's, jump. It's going to uh, be aggressive, yeah. It definitely is, so. It's kind of prepped for eventually bagging the car. Oh, eventually bagging the car. There Saving we go. Up. So, this hey, is like a lot of games. Yeah, <laughs> he wants to bag his car to too. After saying he was gonna keep it on stock suspension because it'll handle better. Yeah, uh, you know that was back before I, you know, actually did looked research. Up one single damn video exactly. on bags. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, no, they're better. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. Gonna be installing some arrow. Always fun when you get to add some cosmetic stuff. Really changes the look of the car. And obviously, like when we're doing performance stuff, you can't feel it in the car. But it's always nice to see uh, some good old cosmetic stuff. Yeah, so every same. time you film, yeah, it's good old. Good, get it some good old uh, cosmetic, aggressive. cosmetic, yeah, aggra aggressive, aggressive. Uh, air, uh, bags. Uh. But yeah, before we get into installing these, I have to do a huge shout out to Vega from Vega Motorworks. Hit him up, started talking with him. He liked what we did here, and he hooked it up fat with these. So yeah, definitely hooked huge it up. Huge shout out to him. We're gonna put links in the description mm -hmm. to website, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. So if you have Focus ST or Fiesta ST. This is doesn't he have other? Does he have? He also does, I think, Mustang. I think. I know he does like E46. I think. I don't know. He does a couple other cars, but his like his main stuff is the Focus and Fiesta. So his shit's aggressive as hell. It's yeah. super cool. Like I, when I found it, I was like, this. I need this on my car, and things worked out. We talked a little bit, so. Huge shout out to him. Definitely. Get these installed, send him some photos, some videos, that kind of thing. So I was talking to Anthony earlier and I was saying, you know, a lot of these major like companies, they make like all right splitters and stuff, but it's always sort of the one the guy, the one man team that makes the coolest splitters and, like, the, and the most aggressive. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Seriously. Because I can't think of any really uh, major companies that make really aggressive stuff aside from like Battle Arrow or Yeah, I think like the only other two main main companies that make like this kind of stuff for this car is Battle Arrow and Rally Innovations. Yeah. And it's both just kind of a basic just yeah. shit. So this kind of is cool. It has a little bit of a different look to it. I'm all for supporting the one-man teams too. No, exactly. It really helps them out. Hopefully to do more work with them in the future because eventually once I get it bagged, uh, he has a diffuser and a wing extension. Mm -hmm. So might look into those when I get it bagged, but we'll see. Yeah. So we'll check it out. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's him. video. It's, uh, it's going to be a good one. So yeah, definitely. Let's get to it. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, we got some little standy boys. <laughs> All right, we got some little standy boys here, though. Safety number one, of course. We got two jacks, so that's what we're doing. And we're going to hopefully get this on pretty quickly. Shouldn't be that hard. Uh, it's already got pre-drilled uh, holes in the material. It's just a matter of bolting it in and uh, drilling into the car. So that's that. What's your thoughts on this? You know, have you looked into his Fiesta stuff? Are you Sam, gonna look into his Fiesta you stuff? Look into his Fiesta. You know who I like? Who? You ever heard of Fury Motoring? No. Remember the guy with the Fiesta at Occupied Big Bear? He oh, stuffed it. Yeah. He used the promo code, I can't stop. Yeah, that okay. guy. He makes some cool stuff too. He yeah. sent some stickies too. Ooh, Along with some good old uh, mounting supplies as well. So, But we're going to be jacking this up. This is a nice on the ambits. Looking good as always. You should curb them. It gives it a better appeal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so we're doing, the, we're doing the front splitter first, right? Yeah. There's one fine Fiesta. Don't look at it. It's sturdy. All right, we got it up on the stands. We got us uh, the extra set of stands holding up the splitter, actually. As you can see here, it's got the cool logo showing the red through. That'll look really cool. Yeah, so it's it's centered now in each direction. It has the right. Yeah, we got it perfectly centered. Yeah, so, got so now what I'm going to do is go underneath and have them hold it up and mark where the holes are going to be, and then we'll pull it off, drill the holes. Yeah, the usual when it comes to installing a splitter. So, yeah, all right. right, that's what we're doing. We Looks got it all nice already. lined up. This drill will do more than just drill a hole. This will drill a goddamn crater. You ever been to the dentist? This is, I swear to God, they use these. It's because you don't fly. <laughs> all right, let's see. I got a cavity filled with no shot once. Sam! <laughs> you see that shit? Alright, what can we drill into next? Your head. Okay. Sam, no, 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 no. Bet. <laughs> Breaking out the real tools here, so. I'm trying to say I don't have real tools. I'm trying to say you ain't got that Milwaukee. 
You're right, I have a I got, Black and Decker. Okay. You got both, Milwaukee and DeWalt. DeWalt's DeWalt. the best. DeWalt makes a really good um, electric impact. All right, guys, it was a little gloomy a second ago, but as soon as we got it lined up, uh, the sun started showing, so that's a sign right there that things are going well. Uh, it took <laughs> us a while, but... Yeah, I, had, uh, I drilled one hole and it was a little bit off, so we re-drilled it, and I'm going one hole at a time, so that way I can adjust it if I need to. But we right. have two bolts in right now. So far, so good. Two bolts in, one on each side, sort of, and uh, we're just getting it lined up, and then now it's pretty much easy peasy for me. Yeah, because I have the, the two bolts that are in here, so I'm gonna do the two end ones to keep the ends up, and then we'll do, finish those off, and then we have to do the three center pieces. Exactly, so. And then move on to side skirts. Yeah, so. So far, so good. Definitely going well. This thing's definitely looking well. Looks so. really good. Looks really good, especially with the VM. You can see like the red through it. Really yeah. nice, so. I don't know the dimensions of my own garage, I guess. But uh, yeah, so this is working we're out. gonna keep you guys updated. So far, it looks so good. It's gonna change the whole appearance of the car. And once you get bags. Once I get bags, ooh. All right, guys, just a little update on the splitter. This side's now all bolted in. And uh, now we're working our way towards the middle here on each side. Eventually this middle piece is gonna get pushed up a little bit more and then uh, there's eventually. The, there's spacers. So oh, sealed. is there? Okay. Yeah, there's little spacers yeah. that came with it. I was going to say we might have to push it up quite a bit, but if there's spacers, then we're chilling. But it's coming along. Getting a little little drill action going. There's the spacers in there. Yeah, see? Yeah. So those guys bolt up in because that's why there's the three longer bolts yeah. for the center ones. All right. Well, so far, so good. This thing's looking really aggressive. But it turns out we're actually going to do the side skirts tomorrow, like late morning-ish probably. Yeah. Right around then and uh it'll be a two-dayer i'm liking the way it's coming out really aggressive oh yeah really aggressive all right boys so far anthony's uh he's getting the stands out from under but uh i put those three little extensions in i'll show you more in the daytime tomorrow when we film and uh put on the side skirts so more of this in the next day obviously it's gonna be one video for you guys so it's literally gonna be like right now basically. yeah it's still like right right about all right, boys, welcome back to day two. We got Anthony once again, me as well. No Sam here yet, but uh, that's all right. Uh, we're gonna be doing the side skirts today. Uh, we saw this at the very end, it was a little dark, a little grainy, but as you can see, still can't really get the full effect. We'll get it outside and we'll get some outside shots, of course, at the end, but it's looking really pretty. And a lot of people run splitter rods with this, but me and Anthony kind of agree that Maybe no splitter rods because it looks really good the way it is right now, especially with the spacers right here. I was trying to show these, but it's a little too dark. But uh, it's got sort of three like cylindrical spacers that uh, attach it. And now we got these bad boys right here. So let's get a little mock up. So it's like that. Oh yeah. Look how far out those come. Yeah, those are gonna stick out a little bit. We'll have to make sure and double check the plate. The uh, mounting points, but it's gonna look good. Yeah, sick, and it's got this nice little fin on the end. Oh yeah, really sick. This is gonna be awesome. Let's get it jacked up, and we'll start. Yeah, install wise, pretty much the same concept as the lip. So these will probably be easier, honestly, than the lip. Yeah. Because as long as we like figure out like the distance out, we can just drill one hole, and then with the other side exactly and just go all straight ends. yeah so it's super straight versus there we had to make sure everything was everything like lined, lined up, up yeah perfectly before we even drilled a single hole so yeah so this should be definitely a lot easier and then uh, we'll pull it out into the street over here at the very end and we'll see how it looks because yeah get some it's gonna look shots. pretty damn good it's all coming together all right we got it on the stands and you're saying that side skirt sort of dropped down yeah so there's these little body clips that go along the entire side skirt yeah there's like like six of them or something and then once you get those out of the way the back of the side skirt so just kind of like pulls out all right. a little bit so then once we drill the hole we'll just pull this out and i'll reach my hand in there and put the nut on and it's just going to mount right to here because it's not really it's not heavy or anything like yeah. that so it's not like you have to actually bolt it to the frame all right guys a little bit of finagling later uh we had to take off uh, this part of the mud flap right here so we get a bolt in there but uh, now we got the two end bolts in. We got this one over here and then one in the back, of course. And now the middle's just up. sagging, but uh, we got it lined up, so. It looks so good from back here. Oh, man. Just look at that. Like, it's not even bolted up all the way, but look at it. Looks <laughs> so good. This angle right here looks sick. One more bolt left, but it's firm right now, boys. It is firm. Yeah, this like, thing's not coming off. Side skirt's, side skirt's loose, but this thing's on the side skirt, so. 
Exactly. The the factory sides here aren't connected right now, so yeah. that's why it looks like it's wobbling. Let's see under there. So that bolt action. Favorite parts the red through the see-through logo. Alright guys, everything's in place. Jack stand out. Let's see how it looks on the ground. Hopefully the jack doesn't crush the new side skirt. <laughs> nah, it's just the plastic side skirt. Yeah. Being a bitch. But <laughs> but damn. It looks so good on the ground. Now it's wide angle, so you can't really get all of That's it. So clean though. Up close, but oh my god. Major improvement. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see it out in the no natural light. Yeah. So fucking it's solid. solid. It's not going anywhere. Oh yeah. I think solid. And yep. then it's flush with the edge of the wheel. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's perfect. Literally it's perfect size. Perfect. Yeah. All right, we're going to get to on the other side. The other side's more of the same. So we'll just show you guys after, and uh, we're going to pull it out, and then we're going to get some daylight shots of it. Vega, if you're watching, you hooked it up, Fat Man. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Wow. This car is coming along. All right, guys, it's officially off the stands. This side is now on as well. So, uh,. Anthony's gonna pull it out into the daylight here soon and uh, pull it out right now. Yeah, he's gonna pull it out right now. We're gonna see it in the daylight on the street. Oh man, I love it so far though. Love me some good arrow. It's also thinking about changing his exhaust setup again too. So, we'll keep you updated on that. Oh, just wait till he's lowered too. It'll be sick. Oh man. Looks so good, dude. Fuck yes. Oh. That's so sick. So nice. It's aggressive, but not too aggressive. Very nice. How hyped are you for this? I'm so stoked on it. I like, I ordered it, like I got this stuff ordered like the first day of February. So it's been like yeah. over a month of me just like sitting here every single day, looking at Instagram photos and everything. And it's so much different in person. Yeah, it's definitely. So sick. My favorite part has to be the front splitter though. It just looks so nice. Hopefully it shows up well on the wide angle, but man. So much more aggressive. Oh, it goes perfect with the wheels too. Like in the rear, how it used to have that little bit of poke when you look down the side. Now with the splitter there, it like looks like it's meant to be there. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Nice, lovely aero install. Mm -hmm. I love me some good aerodynamics. These are my favorite videos to film and favorite installs to do. Yeah. So Get it's him. always fun. Shout out Vega Motor Works. Yep. Hooked it up fat. Check his shit out in the inscription. So. Yep. Especially if you have a Focus or a Fiesta, check it's him out. That's his biggest work. market. Yeah, definitely. So. That's definitely one of his biggest markets. I was talking to him and he just stumbled upon it because a buddy had a ST and wanted some stuff done to it and blew up from there. So yeah, here it is on your car now. It's pretty Personally, I think it looks better than Rally Innovations and Battle Arrow stuff. It definitely looks a hell of a yeah. lot better. So, and it's all about the same exact price. Actually, I think it's probably even cheaper from him than it is yeah. from like a big company. So, yeah, it's sick. Check it out. Even if you don't have a Focus or Fiesta, he does make it for a few other cars. So uh, go check it out. See if yeah, he has I your car on there. Like Veloster, a few BMWs, a Mustang, a few other cars. So nice. He has work, other stuff to do. So yeah, definitely. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna keep trying to pump out videos here, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.